Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to another Build Brief, episode number two, in which we are going to be continuing on our boathouse build. Before we get into the third-person time lapse, um, I did want to do one thing with you on camera, and that is, I had received a suggestion from Tai and Yalong in the comments about replacing these ironwood fences with the wooden stakes from Rustic. And I think that this is gonna be a really amazing idea um, because the nice thing about the wooden stakes from Rustic is that we can tie ropes to them, which will make them look very, very boat docky. <laughs> so I've got these posts and then I've got these ropes from Rustic and you can right click on them and it basically ties the rope around the wooden stake. Yeah, <laughs> that looks really good. Look at that. That is an am that's amazing. And I'm thinking maybe we could even do something like this, kind of at the end to connect some of them. But probably not all of them. Awesome. Great. Thanks for the thanks for the suggestion, tying along. It's one of the things I really like about the idea of this series is doing these doing these builds little by little rather than getting them out in all, all in one episode is that you guys get to get involved with the build. So one of the, my main things today that I want to face is this. Um, I'm not real happy with the way the red terracotta looks and I'm going to try a couple of different experiments with some different trim ideas and different block ideas. Um, I even have some birch here <laughs> in my inventory you may have noticed. And those of you who know me know that I am not at all a fan of birch, that I usually end up not liking it. However, um, I want to be open-minded, so I'm going to give it a try because I have a feeling that it's going to look good um, next to this red terracotta. We'll see. I'll try some experiments and let's get started. The exterior is mostly done. I think I'm going to add some trim around there. I ran into two issues that kind of made this take longer than I had hoped. So I didn't get around to the interior today, but we'll be doing that next time. Of course, the first issue you may have noticed was that I just struggled with the trim over here. Um, and I still don't like it. So I like this aspect of it. I really wanted to work in this red terracotta. I just couldn't. I just couldn't get it to look good um so yeah i don't know exactly what i'm going to do yet i think 
I'm going to go with windows like this over there and just get rid of that part of the trim. And then I just need to decide what I want to do with the door. I mean, maybe just having that trim there will be fine by itself because, I mean, it looks okay with those windows. I may actually, you know what? I'm probably going to bring this out one more. Well, maybe not. Actually, that's, that's probably fine just like that. Um, the interior, we'll work on that next time on getting some lighting in here and making the interior look a little bit nicer. Um, I also got raided <laughs> by pirates, so that was a bit of a distraction. This ended up taking longer because I've, like I had mentioned last time, I'm trying to keep these to about an hour of gameplay, and it's been almost two hours since I started this one, so... But uh, I do want to try to stick to an hour so that I can get these out more frequently to you guys and it'll take me less time to edit them. And, and plus, I really like the idea of you guys being able to give me feedback in between the episodes. That was really nice because like this idea, if I had done this whole build in one episode, um, this idea may not have happened. So, of course, if you do have any other ideas about the interior or about the trim work, especially the pieces that I'm not real crazy about, uh, do let me know. Yeah, this, I mean, I think, I think I could just get rid of this. So, so the thing is I had it, I had it where there was just trim around the windows, the window and the door. And I didn't like the way that looked. It just seemed, I don't know, like it was hanging, but like I said, maybe if I use those windows, um, you know what, I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I know I should be stopping, but let's just do this one thing. I'm just going to break those. I don't care. It's just glass. And do that. And then just get, let's see what happens if I just get rid of all this trim. Oh, actually, that looks kind of nice with the trim inside the trim. But, but let's just get rid of it and see what happens. Oh, I did say I was going to leave it around the door, didn't I? Crap. And then draw in region. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Although I, I think I do still want trim around the door. So let's just try this right now <laughs> before we end. We want drawn region here. That, that, and I have <laughs> torches in my offhand. <laughs> okay, so that, uh, see, I don't like that, but okay. So we'll, we'll keep trying this next time. A darker block might be even better here, but I, I don't know. Slate is a really nice looking block, but against... So this is um, chiseled oak planks. So it's oak planks, but it has the smooth texture from chisel, from the chisel mod. Um, I think I mentioned last time these are from Structurize, which is uh, part of mine colonies. And then this is ironwood from Rustic. It's the ironwood logs. And the floors are the ironwood planks. So I'm not sure how I feel about these two together, but I, I think it's okay. Like it's a it's a wooden, it's a very wooden structure, and that was kind of kind of what I was going for there. Yeah, we need some kind of trim around there, I think. But other than that, I think we're doing okay. And I'm probably going to replace the stairs on the edge here with these full blocks and maybe bring that in one more block. Make it make the inclo or the opening a little bit smaller. So if you do have any suggestions or whatever, or comments or ideas or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button. And to join me next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.